Now to bowling balls. A bowling ball has its place, right? Rolling down a lane, taking down pins, or maybe you're the kind of bowler where your bowling ball goes straight into the gutter. Either way, it's safe to say you're probably not looking at bowling balls as pieces of art, especially a dinged up old bowling ball. We are about to change all that. Well, you are. I'm Trisha Sass is here in the Price Chopper Kitchen with me from Parkville Artisan Studio. Mm -hmm. Trisha, you're showing us how to beautify an old bowling ball and make it into a mosaic piece of art. Now, you know I'm a thrifty girl, right? You sure are. I really am. And if you go into any thrift store, you're going to find a bunch of bowling balls. Not just bowling balls, croquet balls, um, bocce balls, I think it's called, bocce yeah. balls. Whatever. In any one of them, pick them up. They're, are, they're inexpensive. And go into their little craft department, pick up any kind of little extra bits and baubles that they have. And the only other supplies you need yeah. is my Superstar right here. What is that? E6000. It's the glue that does <laughs> e everything. E6000. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's waterproof and it will hold forever and it dries fairly quickly, so that's important. Okay, mm -hmm. those are really the only main tools you need. Once you get your bowling ball, so you didn't even because I want to look at the finished product. Looks like you put stuff over it. What I did you? Stuff, I did. I put I glued all these fun things all over it, and then we're gonna grout it just like you oh, so tile. you filled it in. Okay, uh -huh. all right. But you have to start by sanding it down. The bowling balls are really have a smooth finish on them to, mm -hmm. to make your bowling better because I'm really great at that. When I bowl, I need a smooth finish. And that's Doesn't why we're matter. using your There's, bowling balls for yeah. art? Because <laughs> you're so good at bowling? Yeah, that's about it. Um, so, so we're going to sand, just it, sand down. it down. Okay. And then you can draw a pattern on there if you want. I just use like a Sharpie or something. You don't even have to do a pattern. You can just stick some fun stuff all over it and make it look pretty with colors that match your house. Um, but I drew a little pattern on here. We're doing the little dragonfly this time. Uh, would you like to glue some pieces Yes, on? I love when okay. you put me take to work. Some, take some of the green ones there. And, and you oh, no, prefer I'm sorry, this not the green to... Ones. We're going to do these ones. Wait, you yep. prefer this glue to any other glue? You know, we're going to put this outside. Um, um, so it has to be it, When I'm doing mosaics, like, in my house or something, I'll use plain old Elmer's glue or something. But outside, we want to make sure this thing is going to stay and for a little while. And it's the E6000? E6000 is my favorite. Stick a little bit of that glue on there. And see this little section right here? Yeah. That's where we're putting those little bobbles. Just stick them in there. They don't have to be in any specific spot. Just glue it, stick them on. Okay. Easy. And then... There are all kinds of things that you can use. Um, you know, I, I use cut glass. If you know how to cut glass, yeah, you, you can do that. And that's what some of these are. If you don't know how to cut glass, get a hammer, smack the glass until it breaks into pieces, and use those pieces. What are the odds of this baby rolling off onto one of our not, toes? Not much, because this is the, the trick that I use. I get a small box, a little cardboard box. Oh, that's good. And it really holds it pretty steady, because I am always afraid that this thing's going to come off and smush my toe. I don't yeah, you don't want you. I don't, you don't want. So here's my question. Then. Okay. Do you balance it on that and just tell the kids don't touch No, I t it? I, the kids are pretty good. You have to stay <laughs> away from that. Okay. I, built, okay. I made the bottom of it so that it would balance Got on it. there. But, you know, it's not like it's, um, you know, super, super steady. If you wanted to, to have it in your garden to keep it safe, you could E6000 it to the base. And that it stick? Oh, yeah. This stuff is amazing. Okay. E6000. I'm right. just going to hold this up so everybody that can duct get tape, it. And you got so this is you the, the magic power. It, it is right there. E6000. It is. And so once you've glued all your little bits and pieces on there, yeah. then you have to mix your grout. Um, it takes a little time to get this mixed and to make it right, but I put a little bit of grout, just like any other tile grout, um, in, in a cup. And make yeah. sure it's a disposable cup because you're going to end up throwing this away. No, you're no. And then you just add a little bit of water to it. How do you know how much water to add? You want it to end up like... Um, pudding. Can I? Can we do it? So you we can. Know it takes a little while to mix it. So we dump, dump maybe half that water in there. I like to use um, the end of spatulas, a brush, and I get my spatulas from so the thrift store. You're really eyeballing it. So I you really want pudding like, consistency. And, it, and it's not. It, it's not like a, a exact science here. As long as it is mixed up and it's not running all over your table. Um, right. And if it's not, it's not can't be so thick that you can't get it into these little grout lines. Okay. And how do you apply it? I will show you. There. Okay. You got so it mixed pretty have, good. I think so. Let's I think see. I might have put a little a look. too much water in there. Oh, it's yeah. There's a little too much water in there. Let's see. But we missed some down on the bottom. Yeah, it's not going to be quite. But this thick is enough. the area when you fill it um, in. Let's pretend like we're going to pretend. Right. Yeah, we're going to pretend. So this we is the area we're going to. So fill we just in. you would scoop up. Use a cheap old spatula. You're going to scoop up just a little bit of grout and then you're just going to kind of spread it on there, pressing it down into the little cracks. So the grout won't stick to the tiles? It does. So you press it all on there and you've got this goopy grout all over the top yeah. here. Then you keep a little sponge here. 
in some oh, water. You don't okay. want to do this in your sink. You don't want to end up with grout in your sink. No. It's, it sinks down in your, your pipes and you'll have a problem. Huge so problem. So keep it in a bucket and then dump this bucket outside somewhere. But you're just going to then, once you've put the grout all over it, let it sit for about a half an hour, 45 minutes, and then you're just going to wipe. And it's going to wipe all the grout off of the areas that you want it wiped off of. And, and then it's it going to leave the grout in the cracks. That looks really pretty. So it's going to end up, and then it'll get all shiny. The ne next thing you have to do is you have to seal it. So buy a tile sealant, like at any Home Depot or something like that, paint that sealant on, get some fun little thing down at the thrift store to set it on, and boom, you, you have got it. garden art, Trisha right? Trisha Sass, thank you. You're welcome. Now, if you do this with your dad's bowling ball, make sure it's his old one. Yeah. Because you don't want that to be or the no, Father's Day. Or no, you can do it. Happy Father's Day. You can do it with his new one. My you won't know. Ball. You won't even know it's his bowling ball. Trisha Sass <laughs> from Parkville Artisan Studio making an old bowling ball beautiful.